even if you've done a lot of sheet metal work, um, if you haven't worked with spring steel, uh, there's, there's a lot that you need to learn about how to um, bend it and cut it and everything. It's not like normal sheet metal. This is 1095 blued spring steel. Uh, it's a 32nd of an inch thick. 1095 means there's 0.95% carbon. That's a high carbon steel. And the carbon is one of the things that makes it so hard. Spring steel is flexible. Um, but if you try to bend it along a seam, it will crack. So uh, this piece was designed to be bent along a couple seams that would have cracked uh, if I went ahead and bent them. So what I'm going to have to do is score them um, and I can try to bend them. It might bend. If it does break while I'm trying to bend it, then I'll have to weld it back on. But I'm going to first scribe lines on the, uh, on the spring steel so I know where to bend. Um, but I'm not going to use a normal scribe. Um, typically, scribe isn't even going to be as hard or isn't going to be harder than your spring steel. So this is actually a carbide end mill, a quarter inch carbide end mill that I'm using as a scribe. So I can lay my straight edge across and scribe a line with one of the teeth. Um, Carbide is one of the only things hard enough to scratch it, um, but you might be able to get it to work with diamond tools um, or maybe even high speed steel depending on if you retemper this or not. Anyway, um, those are the scribe lines. And now I can try to put it in a vise and bend it. Some of the folds I have gotten to work and some of them break off. Um, either way, I'm going to score it with a Dremel tool and then try to bend I'm using one of these little cutoff wheels on the Dremel. And I'm just going to groove, um, make an indent to score along the scribed line. Um, not quite halfway through the material. It's just um, pretty shallow, and then I'll try to bend it after scribing both. Because this uh, spring steel is so hard, if you try to do it with a file, scratch it with a file, it won't work. You have to do almost everything with carbides and abrasives um, if you want to be able to work with it. So I do have it scored now and I'm going to um, put it in the vise and using a hammer um, try to bend this over to 90 degrees. Because I'm bending it 90 degrees over, um, that's, be uh, that's why it's likely to bend uh, and break before it bends the whole way. I have made other bends in spring steel that are more gradual, and for those you don't normally have to score it. But uh, now it's scored, and I'm going to try to bend it all the way to 90. and it broke before I got there. Most of them get closer than that, um, but the temper may have been different on this one. Actually, you can see that uh, the metal is dis uh, discolored. I had tried to do a retemper to soften it, but uh, obviously didn't work. So I'll tape it back on so I know where it goes to weld it together, and I'll go ahead and go on to the next. Hopefully the second bend turns out better than the uh, first one. And then after this, we'll show you some of the other bends that did work better. Felt a little bit of cracking there, so it probably won't make it. just barely holding on in the corner uh, but that definitely is cracked here's two more pieces of the spring steel 
You can see one I had heated with a torch to anneal it, and the other one I did not. These are definitely more gradual bends than the 90s I tried to do, uh, but they did work out. Um, they're, they're a lot less, and you don't see very much cracking. I did get a little bit on this one, um, but other than that, they seem pretty good. When you're drilling the spring steel, you'll probably run into a problem of the hardness again because the spring steel will be either harder or just as hard as your drill bits if you're using high-speed steel. This piece is annealed, so it's a little bit softer, and I found that the drill bits do go through if you go slowly. hard materials, lubrication is always a good idea. Eventually these two pieces will get riveted together. Um, as part of armor for a battle bot. Um, spring steel is really hard, which makes it a uh, very good material um, for wear resistance and everything, but hardness also comes with its difficulties. It's hard to work with, hard to drill, hard, hard to bend, everything. Um, so, if you're not familiar with those things, it'll be even harder to work with. So, um, getting to know the material and how to work with it um, should help you in the next spring steel project.